Welcome to Defense Universe. India is mastering a technology called HAPS or High Altitude Pseudo Satellite, a technology where India had moved into at the right time. It is it not playing catch up this time. It's not the leaders for sure at this moment, but it can confidently say that we have lead runners firmly in sight. India is very much in the race, but 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 what are HAPS? These are no ordinary UAV. This one can fly at great heights from ground, runs entirely on solar power, and can remain in the air for months on end. Such UAV belong to a class of flying objects called HAPS. The primary utility of HAPS vehicles is in the field of surveillance and monitoring, but there are other situations like disaster management wherein it can be very useful. HAPS technology is still under development. Several countries and companies have developed and flown such vehicles with encouraging success, but none has mastered the technology yet. But the most important question is, why do we need such system when we have drones and UAVs? The kind of jobs that HAPS are meant to do are currently done by UAV and satellites, but both have certain limitations. The normal UAV, or drones as they are commonly called, are mostly battery-powered and cannot remain in the air beyond a few hours. Continuous monitoring is not something these can do very effectively. In addition, they fly at relatively low levels, because of which their vision is restricted to small areas. Satellites can observe much larger areas, but the ones in low Earth orbits are continuously moving with respect to Earth. They cannot be constantly keeping an eye on the target area. Geostationary satellites, located at a height of about 36,000 kilometers above the ground, can keep a constant gaze over one area, but these are fairly expensive and once deployed, cannot be repurposed or reoriented. But the real deal is, where does India stand when it comes to HAPS? For India, HAPS is another technology area where it is entering the race at a relatively early stage. In the last few years, there has been great emphasis on promoting research in emerging technologies so that the country is not dependent on others for critical technologies of the future. Recently, Bengaluru-based National Aerospace Laboratories successfully flew a prototype of a HAPS that is being seen as a huge technology breakthrough. The HAPS that was flown this month is a scaled-down HAPS. The 5-meter long system, with a wingspan of 11 meters and weighing 23 kilograms, rose to about 3 kilometers and stayed put for about 8 hours. However, a series of tests have been planned and they are expected to culminate in a full-bodied craft with a wingspan of 30 meters by 2027. It will be able to rise to 23 kilometers and stay airborne for at least 90 days. The public sector Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is also collaborated with a startup, Newspace Research and Technologies, for HAPS. In February 2022, HAL said it had allocated 40 to crore for developing prototype. In 2023, New Space announced that its long endurance HAPS had carried out its first flight lasting over 21 hours. Private firm L&T has also signed an MOU with a startup for developing advanced HAPS. HAPS will change the game of piracy, smuggling, search and rescue ops in future. Now if you want to know more about Indian defense industry, then check this out.